Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Plays. Pacific Drive. I nearly said Critical Drive. Don't say that. Um, where we have been tasked with the uh, the task of exploring the zone. We have a few things to do on our checklist, but start the new episode. Let's look through the logbook and see what we've missed. Again, I will probably miss things that we could have read in the field, but then didn't. And then I, you know what I mean. <clears throat> Charging the car battery. Watch your battery meter carefully. Using headlights, special abilities from attachments will drain your reserves. However, even with an empty battery, your arc device will be able to jump start the car. So, okay. There are also ways to recharge on the, excuse me, on the go. Check your crafting options. Charting roads. <clears throat> to make your way through the zone, you must chart the roads for yourself. The route planner displays the junctions currently stable enough for a drive. These ones. <clears throat> Be aware some routes will pass through multiple junctions as they take you on your way toward opening a gateway. During each drive, you can scan many unusual things you encounter and fill out your logbook. If you make it back through the gateway, these readings will be uploaded and used to identify hazards and resources along future routes. The junction you return from will also be saved, expanding the areas to the zone that you have access to, if the conditions are right. <coughs> Excuse me, cough in there. Hopefully I remembered to mute that. Uh, Arda Fuel Tanker, Private Field Notes. Dr. Everett, a date unknown. By the early 1960s, gasoline was vital to the production of electricity. Portable diesel generators became the primary way of powering the majority of structures and equipment within the zone, and we were almost useless without it. Power grids were failing daily, even several times a day. Batteries drained with preternatural speed, and even shielded equipment was frequently, frequently, frequently degrading or producing inexplicable malfunctions. Entire convoys of tankers crisscrossed the peninsula we wiped, we piped <laughs> in untold gallons of the stuff every day, adding more industrial-sized piping alongside all the fresh water we were trying to pull in. When everything else failed, good old petrochemicals still did their job. We must have pumped so much lead into the air, into the zone. For it to scramble into the omelette it was forever making of our world. I guess that was about the time more and more animal life was dying off. God, did we just make things even worse? <clears throat> yeah, probably. That explains why we haven't seen any uh, rabbits or anything. Which means it probably wasn't rabbits or something that was in the bushes last episode that um, freaked me out and frightened me quite a lot. Hard investigator, journal fragment, date unknown. I think the reality of so much work, even the work that is about our dreams and our ambitions, the kind of work we have put so much more of our time and energy into, is compromise. <clears throat> My hope was that we could create practical, reliable, mobile laboratories to allow us to better do our jobs. With the zone increasingly unstable, increasingly changing, I thought it was a novel solution. We could analyse many of our findings on site. We could respond to changing conditions in a timely manner, relocating ourselves to study new weather behaviour or anomalies the moment we heard about them. <clears throat> we could work in a safe, secure environment. But now we have this. Slow, clumsy trucks that perform poorly off-road that lack a dedicated laboratory space, that aren't even hermetically sealed. <coughs> the lead shielding built into them is too thin. The equipment we've mounted is too old. Budget constraints and compromise mean we've created nothing more than a portable chemistry set. What's more, Arda have named it the Investigator, like they chose the driest name they could think of. And all this will have to do. New Anomalies. <clears throat> Beating Heart, Journal Fragment Date Unknown. It's been at least two months now, and I'm the last member of our team left out here, totally lost. I've no idea what day it is, where I am, where I should be headed, even which way might be north. The roads themselves seem to be changing, and those barriers that the government installed open and close with a mind of their own. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out. I've only been able to keep going thanks to the magical piles of semi-organic junk that somehow knits the van back together after whatever thing smashed it apart last time around. Uh, what? <clears throat> I can get... Hit by electricity or dragged into a tree ten times over, but these things patch everything up better than any mechanic I ever knew. And then I just drive on into the forest once more, trying the next junction. These things heal us. I didn't notice that. I thought they were dragging us in and sort of giving us a dangerous hug. Uh, and then I just drive to uh, the next junction. That's the story of the last living member of the ba Bug Watch team. Stuck out here forever because we came to record a dumb show about insects. Sizzling mist. We learned a lot last episode, apparently. I didn't realise there were this many of them. Uh, Namo, FAO Dr. Lopez, December the 2nd, 1965, addendum. You are right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the clouds so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above, and we'd do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else, something both more intense and yet also so much more localised. 
I think with a little time it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behaviour in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get Temi for this, for sure. Excuse me, my throat is very dry despite the number of drinks I've had and am still having. Ah, my water's empty. Dang it. Never mind. Progress report, hot up hair. Progress report, David Okada, November 12th, 1970. Today I'm delighted to be able to report not only one rare success, but three. I'll be closing a trio of missing persons cases and sending some very exhausted, very scared civilians home. And a curious coincidence connects these people. First we found that Canadian fisherman who had gone missing in 67. We found him living in his boat, haul and all, 30 pounds of fish in his perfectly functional icebox. Then we found that that last member of the Bugwatch broadcasting team in a car almost as good as new. Just read about them. <clears throat> they had a very good car because they kept accidentally repairing it. Finally, there was Clive, the pneumatic tube, the pneuma tube technician, hiding in a still-powered field lab and insisting he's only been gone a week. I don't know what to tell him. Weird thing is, all three described anomalies helping them out. Those things that leech onto cars, they'd leap out of the wilderness, clamp on something and restore all power. They helped keep the heaters going on cold days, kept the radio playing on lonely nights. I wouldn't have believed any of it if I hadn't heard the same story three times in a row. See, I'm not necessarily sure that it was doing damage to the car whilst repairing it, so I think we probably could have just left it on. Glittering boulder. Transmission fragment, Arda Dispatch, Headquarters, April 26, 1964. Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no. Oh no. It's happened again. Just out collecting some data from the weather stations. And oh no, there are these new things out there. And oh help, if you touch them you, ah no. Hold on Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or a physicist. I'm a meteorologist. But my guess is these things are discharging too much of energy into whatever they touch. And when they hit a car, you totally go so fast. Hold on Charlie. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could just wait till the car stops and then record it. That's fine too. <clears throat> Left, right. Teletype auto script R direct Carol V 1355-121264. Yes, sir. We lost total control, sir. Veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Six, sir. It's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up and sent it every which way. No, sir. Only Jackson, who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine, while all these squatters only seem a little scared. But, sir, the thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They dress kind of strangely. They have hats and flannel shirts. Canadians? I thought Canada was north of Seattle. Victoria? Who's she? Oh, I see. Well, if we can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we could work that out very fast. I mean French, sir. But I thought the Canadians spoke French. Miller dated a Canadian and she spoke French. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try that now. Ah, uh, hello in there. Are you all right? Hello, do you understand me? We come in peace. Me American, you Canadian, friends. So I think they're unhappy. There's a biome look, found in damp forest. That's definitely where we were because it was slippery and there were trees everywhere for me to drive into. Can opener, transmission fragment, orange unknown, date unknown. Can anybody hear us? We're still inside the cabin. One of those things is tearing up the ground outside and it doesn't stop. It went through backs to like, like when you walk through tall grass, like he wasn't there. Oh God. Come in, come in control. Can you hear us? You have to understand they escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped, they all escaped. They all escaped! They all escaped. We have learned that they all escaped. Heavy fog. The thick, low-lying fog in this part of the zone never seems to lift. That was true. It was dark too. Lead platelet. Too heavy to be practical. Too soft to offer protection. Too poisonous to be used without due diligence. Lead's secret power is its impressive ability to shield against radiation. And the thermosap crystal. The tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It suggests all manner of mechanical app applications. Is it crystalline or crystalline? What do you prefer? Tell me. Let me know. Uh, we've got some lights. We've learned about lights. Insulated headlights. Sometimes you need a cute little Faraday cage for your headlights, augmented by some limb-assisted plasma dispersal. Keep those beams blasting in spite of electrical discharge. Maybe we can make a second one. Oh, there's more. Refine. Bulb. We found bulbs because we knew about the vacuum cleaner thing ahead of time. A tungsten filament encased within a shell of inert gas. Contemporary incandescent lamps are so energy inefficient that they produce more heat than light. That's a... You're digging at the past there. Look, we're out of that era now, so you can say that. But at the time, it was the best we had. 
Vargas Autovax. <laughs> it's actually a Henry, I hadn't realised. What's the point of inventing all these new technologies if you can't use them to spruce things up a little? Here's to a tidier future. And steering wheels. We've got a steering wheel we could probably install it if you wanted to. A relic from a far classier age. Oh, and a paint. We've got a new paint. Off-white paint. The ideal shade for those worried about causing offence, making a statement, or feeling the faintest twinge of passion. Transform your car into the colour of dull dishwater and drive forward into a life of mediocrity. Teal paint. Bring with you the colour of the car motion, or of a thousand suburban bathroom walls. Let the colour also known as Alyssa Blue inspire you to drive with a new sense of serenity. Drive in peace. Okie dokie, all finished. Welcome. I'm pressing escape, but it does not want me to <laughs> press the tab then. Welcome back, people who skipped ahead. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, and let us continue, people who did not uh, go ahead. So, right, car cosmetic. Build the detailing station to use cosmetic items. What's this telling me to do? Status monitor. Activate driver's checklist at the status monitor. Okay, I've done that. There's too many things going on. Repair car, charge battery. Do that. Bang. Pack survival tools. Uh, repair putty. Have we actually run out of repair putty? Is there more? I think there might have been more in one of these somewhere. Only one. It, it's enough, apparently. Also, I think I'm probably going to use all that right now. Well, did we learn to make steel panels? No. Can we? It wants us to learn to make... Or learn to make. It wants us to build the detailing station. So that's going to be one of these things. So some of these things, as I mentioned last episode, some of them are immediately built. And some of them are... You get the blueprint for them. So we learn good. We can make bulb, but I'm not going to. Uh, is it not in here? Yeah, garage. Detailing station, it's here, look. Locked. Behind matter deconstructor, alright. Uh, missing ingredients, gear. <laughs> It'll be like that. Are there any in the car? Does it count the stuff in the car? I can't remember if I emptied the car at the end of the last episode. Uh, apparently I did. There's already repair put. There's three! We've got plenty. So if we can't make a... Um, couple of more panels, we're going to have to repair what we've got. Uh, gear, gear, gear. So you should be just hold on. Yeah. Click. That'll do. Battery's already discharging. It's because the radio's on. Shut this as well. Also, shut this. That rain sound is making me cold. It's April. It's May. It's the 1st of May. Well done, everybody. We've made it. Shut up. Are the lights on? <laughs> The lights on honk. One way to find out is to honk the car, honk the horn. Right. Moving on. Matter deconstructor. Oh, now it's dotted. We can make it, but we don't get a blueprint. We get the real thing. I don't know what the difference is. I know what the difference is, but I don't know what the difference is. Pick this up. Let's go in here. Stand back. Oh, fair enough. Just gonna. Sorry, Oppie. I'm just deleting your. <laughs> Deleting the things that you probably put, if not carefully, then at least intentionally. Uh, and I'm just <laughs> disregarding disrespectfully all of your, you know, previously designed thingy things. Right. Uh, we're right, uh, left click, right click, detailing stage. We can build one. Right. Where do you go? Over by the. I tried to put the steering wheel in the paint thing and it said, that's not paint. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> I've got a thing. I'm guessing that would go in here. Whoa! We've got all these things on the side. Heckin' load of logbooks. Huh. What? No compatible items. Ah. Where did I put it? It's here. What's this if it's not a hint? Put in dealing state. Ah, you put it in. So, R, open inventory. Put this in. There we go. Look at this. What is this? Okay. It's slow. I don't like how slow it is. Now what? Ah, look. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, right, install. There it is. Let's see what it looks like. It's pretty alright. It's better than the previous one. Um, give me a second. I'm going to go into my options. I mean, I don't know if that's... I thought that there was a separate um, speed for the mouse in, in uh, interfaces. And it's not gone any faster, so never mind. Uh, cool. And we've also got stickers here. Look. You can just have as many of these as you want. Because there's a heckin' lot of these. Is this left... Yeah, left sticker and right sticker. Oh, ally stickers. Um, I'm not going to put anything on... No, don't get in the car. Because I'm going to replace a lot of my... Uh, Panels, so I'm just going to lose everything that I put on it. I know that much is going to happen, so we'll deal with this later. How much fuel have we got? Plenty of fuel, right? <clears throat> so I don't know if I can. Let's go over here and see if we can learn to make steel panels. Uh, be in here, I suppose, where the door is. Steel panel, we can. Uh, research steel sheet. I haven't. Do you mean literally? I need to take this. And then drop it, and then what do you mean inventory full. You get it? I'm confused. What do you mean research steel sheet? Oh, like I have to learn to make them in here. Oh, it's there. Oh, so I have to go through bulb. Nope. Pick this up. Thank you. Into steel sheet, which I can get. Oh, I only need fabric. Right, fabric for research. That's it. Do you mind? That's easy. We can do that. Because we don't have to make them. We just have to know how to make them. And then we go into here, steel panel. Yes, we've got enough limb. We only need half of Kalen. Nice. So I'm glad I put the time into doing that because I was about to go and whack repair putty all over my stuff. Uh, I've carried three of these. Um, I'll put them away again. Do they fit in here? Yeah. And we can make a couple of steel... Well... I think a steel door might be better. Start with steel... Well, we only learned steel panel. Can we learn steel door? Should be able to, because it'll be a blueprint. So it's fairly cheap, I should think. Steel bumper, steel door? Yeah. Let's 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 uh, make that. It looks like we could probably learn armored panel. Can we do that yet? Scan a belching barnacle anomaly. Blimey! How do you? How does this know what I need to scan when I don't know what things there are to scan? Spoilers here. Yeah. Steel bumper. Oh. Let's see what we need to make these things. Okay. Now, I recognise we learned a lot. We've got a lot of uh, log books to read next time. <laughs> but I'll, I'll do it at the start of each thing so that we don't have to put another break in the video and you have to skip forward a second time. Uh, except this, where apparently there's... Oh, it tells you what's installed. Radical. Uh, this one's already broken, so we might as well whack some putty on that, I think. But... We need more steel sheets, which costs us... Can we make those? Oh yeah, I've got loads. Right, so we've made two steel panels. That's a good start. Uh, just, just, like, get, take this off. Replace it? No? Get up. And then the other one is just <laughs> fine. That's on the ground. On the ground? On the table. Uh, put this here. Yeah, you can't just replace it. Okay. Beat yourself. Maybe it's because I need my hands. He... Too many buttons. That's looking good. Crude door, steel door. Right, this is Rex. So let's... Um, oh, I keep pressing E. Because that's the Minecraft inventory button. <laughs> okay? Leave me alone. Hello? 
Thank you. I hadn't actually noticed that the, there was damage on the thing. I saw it just repair itself just now. Brilliant. Uh, what's here? Crude door, crude bumper, crude everything except this one. So we can do, by the way. Pick this up. This goes in here. Like this. Bye. And it just turns it into stuff. Look at that. I might as well leave them on the ground. Let the thing... That was a lot, by the way, for a half-broken crude panel. Uh, now, steel door. I can make two, apparently, if I do this. Two's probably... Well, I might as well make three, huh? Take this off while I'm doing it? No. <laughs> Put this away. Be fine. Uh... Go, pick this up. Put it in here. There's R. Yeah, cool. Uh, we made a second one. We've already made a second one. There you are. Uh, it was just chuck it. I mean to chuck it. Yeet. This whole process, by the way, is at least four different buttons. It's E to pick this up. R to remove that. Left click to place it and right click to drop it. That's too many things. Um, should we make another steel door? I think it might be worthwhile. Let's just make as much steel stuff as we can. Can we learn to make a steel bumper? Oh, that could be steel as well. So one, two more steel doors. Uh, steel door. One, two... What's this now? Crude panel. Give me that. Get in there. Get up. It's occurring to me that um, what I haven't done is think about storage space in this car. Oh, I'm going to take this off first. <laughs> Yeet. It's how hard those things are to throw. So one... Two crude panels. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Two crude bumpers, if we can learn them. Look at the mess I'm making on the ground. Don't mind me. But ADHD, you deal with it. Uh, so two steel panels. <clears throat> one on this side and one pick it up on this side getting the hang of it getting the hang of it job done pick that up <clears throat> And then we'll turn on the hoover and everything will just get sucked in, so I don't have to do it myself. I should probably have some spares. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I should probably have some spares. No, I shouldn't. It's not It's not within me to bother with that sort of thing. Uh, it's 91% repaired just because I replaced everything, which is brilliant. Go. <clears throat> now, can we learn... They just, uh, they don't get sucked along the ground, unfortunately. They just disappear. Um, can we learn? What was I making? Car stuff. Uh, bumpers? Yeah, steel bumper. <clears throat> Let's make it. Uh, see what it costs us to actually put together. Also, how are we doing on materials in here? It's okay, isn't it? Where did this come from? I'm thinking actually we maybe uh No, this and then and then Where did that go? <laughs> what? Where did it go? You come out here. Did it go in the trunk? It did. Just put it on the ground. 
Can we drop it? Yeah. Right, bumpers, please. <clears throat> Rubber and steel sheets. Let's have a steel car. This is basically a DeLorean now. Job done. And. Job done. Now, I don't think we can do anything about this headlight. <clears throat> it's at least a decent headlight. They match, it's just this one's got a shield on it, a cage. A Faraday cage. Uh, and I don't think we can learn that. So let's have a look at, um... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look at storage, maybe. What's this? Wheels. We've got a lot of limb, because I went out of my way to do it. Uh... Expansion racks. Car storage. A trunk in the trunk. Side storage. Unlock a side rack. Okay. Side rack. Steel sheet. We'll make them. I can't make them from here for some reason. We can make those. Steel sheet. One. Two. I don't know what the two means on that. Maybe. Oh, it's a level of the, the. The crafting table, essentially. We can't make one of those in. The car boot is the point there. Right. <clears throat> Storage on this side or that side? I like it here. I think. Yeah, because I'm usually getting out and coming in this side of the car, right? So it makes sense to start here. We've installed that now. Let's learn about <clears throat> this. Confirm. We're low on limbs, so we definitely need to have a bit of an explore. Off his new machine. What's this now? Huh? Where did these come from? Decal kits. <gasps> And we can put them on because we just replaced all of the cool stuff in our car. Oh, hey, hey. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's put these in here. Do these go in here? No. Where do we put these? Can I put these in here? Okay, these are also not paint, by the way, game. Uh, but whatever. The sarcophagus. Year of the Dragon. Sarcophagus, because, okay, I've got two years of the dragon. So what should we do? Let's start with sarc Sarcophagus, shall we? Uh, what are we, what, <laughs> what are we learning about here? It's like a jigsaw puzzle. I mean, why not? It's cool, right? I could have one on one side and one on the other. I'm going to cover the whole car in this because I've got two of them. Uh, and you can't stop me because it's my game. So. <laughs> hmm. What am I looking at? What the heck? One out of something. The whole chassis has like a. Can't put it on the bumper. Um. I'm guessing I can't replace it, but I should be able to do something. It doesn't need repairing, I've noticed. It doesn't have a... a helper. There you go. I think that's everything. I'm not sure if I like it, but I've done it, so what are you going to do? Change it? I don't think so. I just don't think so, Sunshine. Can I change the colour of the thing underneath it? Do you think? Let's try it. Uh, I've got lots of off-white paint, and everybody hates that, so let's just put it on and see what happens. I'm going to say same colour, right? No, but you can change the colour underneath, so that's good to know. These are all different colours. 
I don't know if I like it, but I've done it. That's what I got. Teal'c and orange. Let's try some teal'c. Wish it would go into my hand when I press shift. What, what could go wrong? This is my car now. <laughs> Sorry. This is consistent. That's all we wanted was consistency. Do you know what? Those two are the same colour as each other. I'll leave it. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's... What is not repaired yet? 95%. This. Because uh, I kind of want to not worry about this repair footing. Get rid of it if I can. Splot. These wheels probably need some repair, huh? You really want me to get to 100% on this car? <laughs> I will do it just because it uses up this... Yeah, okay, that's as far as you're going. Why is it still at 95%? It's all you're getting, mate, so... Chill your beans. Uh, you can go in the boot. She's still going to call it a boot, regardless of how the game is going to be mean to me about it. Um... We used to take a fresh one of these and a fresh one of these, which I put in here because I didn't realize I could just drop correctly. Uh, also, thank you. Is there a sort button? I haven't found a sort button, but I feel like there should be one. I can make these on the road. Let's not bother carrying one with us. Um, yeah. <laughs> yep, hit myself on the head. Told you it could happen. <clears throat> Of course, it's going to happen to me. Uh, side stories. Yeah, we got that. Oh, no. Side stories. That's what we want. Yeah. Make that. What did that say? Excuse me. Was that being rude to me? <clears throat> Inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space never hurt anyone, and there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk. Guaranteed zone proof for at least 10 minutes. It was not. I saw the capital B, and I thought it was Chandler binging me. Could you be any more not in the trunk? Uh, now. I don't think I can improve the actual boot space yet, but I've got that now. Um, I forgot what I was about to do. <laughs> Large fuel can. It's kind of odd that you get blueprints for these things, but I'm not sure you need more than one of them. What was I about to do? <laughs> I can't remember what I was doing. Expanded locker might be helpful, actually. Fax machine. Anchor radar? What does this do? The enormous energy that anchors generate gives off an unmistakable unique signature that could easily be detected with the right equipment. And this is that equipment. Um, I think I'm good for now. We don't need this, and we don't need this. So I'm gonna... Send them. Turn on the machine. Go and get some limp. That's really what we're about. Uh, you're going to be four, thank you. Uh, repair car, tend to your wounds at the first... Okay, fine. <laughs> I have to. No, dumpster diving. I forgot about the dumpster. It's uh, warm now, so... Warm. It's not raining. What? Don't mind if I do. You what, mate? Is that it? Right. Well, I got a fresh scrapper, which saves me a bit of time and effort. So, not going to grumble too much there. We get a new backpack while we're here. Can we upgrade the backpack by any chance? Car storage. What about me storage? Well, maybe it's in survival. What's that massive hammer there? Do you see that? Blowtorch? What? Olympium torch? What? I don't know how you get a... Let's have a look at what's available. Relightable flare. That's interesting. Utilities. Limpulse emitter. 
啊。I won't nay it. It's going to use the last of my limb, but if I can afford to make this, that's going to be really helpful. <clears throat> uh, can I make it? Yes. <laughs> you hecking... Where do you go? What do I do with this? Oh, read this. This is not fun. It's carefully calibrated discharge. Discharge. Device can be discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electro-organic entities to hold onto or harm the vehicle. It's a bumper. I just made new bumpers and you're only making me take them off again. I'm always driving into things, so it's going on the back. Nice. Uh, you can just be spare. Will you go in here? Well, you're huge. Thank you. It's really annoying that I grab it from the... What's happening is I'm grabbing it from the bottom square and I'm assuming that I'm then putting it down on the bottom square, but actually I'm putting it down on the top square because it doesn't work like that. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Moan, moan, moan. Right, uh, let's go somewhere. How long has that been? <laughs> Another half an hour or so, as usual. Uh, uh, what is this going on here? Don't go there, I think. No stable exits. That means you can't leave. As in, you can't make a gateway there, I think. So I think we just drive somewhere and see what's what. What have we got? Petrally stable. Big fog. Something scary. We've got one... Sc so all these question marks on the right over here behind the where the mouse is not going. I think you don't actually learn about them until you use your scanner charge, which is not great because um, I don't know what they are. <laughs> so, like this, I know it's perpetually stable, but it's not still not telling me. But this one I know is... Oh, it just has extreme conditions. Oh, no stable exits, I know that. Right, okay. So let's, should we just go here? Or here? This one's at least perpetually stable, so we're... Yeah. There's only a couple of things uh, in the bottom right there that we have yet to learn about, but there are a couple of cars. Another anomaly. Uh, two more anomalies. Okay. Guess that's where we're going. <laughs> you can't scan somewhere and then decide you don't want to go there because you haven't got any more. This decal's horrible. <laughs> Aren't we good, though? This is brilliant. Um, whatever I was saying is true. Continue. Oh, also, we've got a new thing. So, maybe F? But there's options? Hang on. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Bash. <laughs> Good start. Repair car now. Take another drive. Oh, I still haven't repaired my windscreen. That's probably what it's telling me about. I needed something for that. What did I need for that? I can't remember. Can I go here anyway? I can. I don't have to scan it to go there. <gasps> I hadn't realised that. I scanned it so that I know what's there, but I don't have to go there, having scanned it. So if I wanted to learn about a place, and then go so I should have learned about this place, and then I could have decided between uh, a not perpetually stable place, which might have juicy stuff in it, or a place that is perpetually stable and might not be so great. But we'll no remember for next time. We'll know that. But we're going here because we scanned here. I have to be very careful now because I could still ruin this by accidentally rolling my wheels into the reset button on my computer. Which is in the... S why? I don't even know why it has one. I can unplug a computer perfectly well on my own, thank you very much. 
Uh, excuse me, why is it red? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the red. Um, lights on. So, we're up here. Look at all that. Okay. Hello? What's going on over there already? Right, let's have some music. And some driving. And we're here for some recon, and we're here for some good stuff. Collecting of stuff. Like this, for example. Do we know what this is? This, this vehicle? Wrecked car, okay. Bit worried about the noises. Good looking here first. Holy moly, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, Robin, what? You saw it too, didn't you? Tell me you saw it too. You saw what? What do you mean, what? The hallucinations, like the ones from 1961. It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your... Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right? Because it's glowy. The driver had first aid to Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? If we turn it off, does it stop? The remnant signal? It triggers does it not get it? hallucination event, but it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. Forty years? Excuse me? What's that? Anomaly studies. You see. Storing a fax machine. Right, we need to uh, invent the fax machine then, I suppose. Nearly hit myself in the head with that again. It's been known to happen, okay. Uh, maybe it's too far away to walk, but I don't know. I think it was just that bloke. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its... What are you talking about, bro? Notice how I missed that completely? Even though it was an easy still target. <laughs> This specific remnant or remnants in general? I'm so confused. What did we just learn? So much work to do. I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll no, report you stay back safe. Once we've gone through all of this data, <laughs> there's a lot of it. And and and, and be careful. Abby's not in the right mind, okay? So uh watch yourself. I think she is. Or his normal mind. Is she ever in her, her right mind? Don't know. But it seems normal for her. She doesn't seem like she's ever been anybody else based on what you've been saying. This is the same place as in the other place. Yeah, that's English. I'll leave the radio on. Can we hear it from outside? No. <laughs> well, maybe we find a bunny. I don't know. I mean a hare. I'm still processing what I just learned. What did they say? There's mass hallucination hallucinations. But for some reason, the remnant is part of it, but specifically this remnant. Maybe. Well, maybe all remnants, but this is the first time it's been significant enough, like noticeable.
Because if they were going on all the time before, and nobody made the link because there were just two constant high background levels of stuff happening. You're not going to turn on me with your patches of death, are you, while I'm in here? Oops, wrong button. Uh, okay. That crate doesn't work, because it's... Uh, I guess with the crate on top of it, you, just, you can forgive it for not working. What the heck is that noise? Blue goblin. Gather all the things. Uh, why can't I get in any of these houses, please and thank you? There's a gas canister which I could just blow up, but nope. It's not that sort of game. Can you scrap the food, do you think? What do you reckon you get out of that? Shut up. <laughs> Man, that's a glowy car. Ugly. I'm wondering if we put stuff in here, actually. Oh, that's huge. Like this, for example. And this and this. Yeah, okay. There's birds! So there is some wildlife. It's just not bunnies. Maybe it is bunnies, too. Uh... And frogs, apparently. Not the craft man. Um, put all this in here... Got ten more food. It's right here, look. Is it stacked? It's up to ten. Uh... So just leave it as it is for now. I could min max the storage a little bit, but I'm kind of not too bothered about it. And we don't need the lights on because it's getting light anyway. Nice. Let's go to the other side of the neighborhood. Got a little bit of cataclysm, dark, dark days ahead vibes going on. This is what the uh, theory of the mind tells me is happening when we play Casters. People will throw away anything, won't they? This should be in the recycle. Maybe that is a recycling bin. I don't know. I'm judging too quickly. But they are Americans, so they're probably just wasting it all. I'm stuck. We'll just open the crate. Doosh, 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 doosh. Ooh. <laughs> it's such a weak gate. I'm surprised kicking it was necessary. It's a lot more actually. Why is this so foggy? It must be temporary. Because it wasn't permafog. Hello? It's just a foghorn, okay? And I'm guess yeah, there's fog, but also... They traditionally... Uh, oh, I haven't taken a picture of it yet. Consumer electronics. I don't think we need a foghorn when there's not a ship in the fog <laughs> to crash into. What's this ouchy stabby? Don't step on the bunnies, I guess. Ha! Huh, okay. <laughs> Weak source. Get in. Can't step up the step, huh? Too much for you. Oh, oh gear. It's handy. Apparently gamers never look up, did you know? That's the thing. So, game designers hide things on up sh upper shelves because, well, gamers don't look up, so secrets exist in the rafters and things. I'm always looking up. Probably because I'm, maybe I've accidentally trained myself not to be hoodwinked by crafty game designers. Huh? Yeah, maybe. There's a lot more uh, things. Let's go a little bit further in the car, shall we? 
Did we open that one? Yeah, we did. Okay. What are you doing over there? Driving's easy. Just press W and, and S and... Part of me is honestly a little bit surprised that real life vehicles are not controlled by controllers and stuff these days. But part of me is kind of glad that it's the case. Imagine if you could just drive around with a N64 controller or something. Well, look. This isn't helpful. I'm not quite sure what to do with all the sort of spare food that we're going to have huge amounts of. So I'm not taking that much damage. Choose to ignore the scary cracking noises in the bushes. Ooh. So maybe a, maybe a one of these. Yep. Yeah. It makes me wonder what could possibly be in this one that needed blocking with an ARPA. 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 No. Oh, jeez. That actually, <laughs> actually gave me one of those uh, minor heart moments turning around from seeing that there. It's not being scary. It just has appeared. And when I turned around and saw that I was not alone anymore. Minor horror moment, if I'm being honest. Almost like a jump scare, but very quiet. Okay. <laughs> See yourself. What the heck? This is rude, bro. Okay. Didn't like the fact that there was obviously a picture of a Taurus on the side of that thing there. Uh, where did I put my fresh doodah? There you are. Hello. Welcome back. Tried to break down the Taurus with my spinning machine, but it just turned into broken. So, not 100% sure that was the right thing to do. Don't even know if it would work. Would work. Metal work. Not sure I want to try it for real. Excuse me. That was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Offended by my presence. Got so much food, it would be silly not to go in here, even if it is yet highly irradiated, as it seems to be. Not highly. Slightly. Kind of lowly, actually. Lowly radiated. We've got so many flares as well. We might be able to get something out of the tourists. We break these down with. No, with this. No. Flares do so much good for us. It's worth looking. You haven't opened these, what? I was sure I'd done everything here. Huh? You gonna go flying? No. See, you're sensible. Anything? Yeah! Thank you. The sacrifice is not disregarded. I thought there was a backpack on the roof, but I think it's one of those... Yeah, it's one of those weird spinny fan things that you usually get on top of industrial buildings. I'm not entirely sure what they're for. I think they're just used to improve airflow. Like they use the movement of outside air to draw air through the pipe network inside and sort of... It's just slightly lame air conditioning. Well, this time Big Dan's got his B. So 
so we can get some more fuel. Maybe some more battery? A bit lucky, we'll find a popping hair to help us. Kind of like that many of the, some of the anomalies um, are helpful. No, they're just straight up helpful, they're good. I got the impression, at least, that the hopping hairs don't do damage, and that trumpety tree thing also doesn't do damage. Why have you still got fabric in your hand? You. Fox coming and going. Is that normal around here? Comes in fast around these parts. Unfriendly dumpster. It's a lot of fabric. I'm going to be able to make so many blueprints. And then none of the stuff that I've got blueprints for because I haven't got the materials for that. Just for the blueprints. One does get somewhat speedy. Ooh, that's okay. Speedy at this over time. Might as well use a canned food. Got so many of them, it's actually an inventory problem. So, if I can use one, I might as well. See, no reason to hold back on that. Look at the size of this telly. I'm just going to smash it up with this machine. What I wouldn't have given for a telly that big in the old days, huh? 90s kids will know what I mean. Not clickbait. It's weird what you can and can't break apart. Or open. The box is look. Plenty of paper, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this, it's silly. I've got 23 cans of food. Stop oh, opening the wrong door. Get in the car. Thank you. Let's have a look at this, by the way, for sources of... So we've got four that we can pick up. But we don't know where the gates are going to be. I think when we pick up one, we'll know where the gates could be, and then we can plan the rest. That seems sensible. Let's do that. Let's put it in drive so we can have to go somewhere. Instead of just making the car angry at us with those noises it makes. Yeah, we need to make a window pixie kit. can't remember what we need for that. This is the wrong side, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear, I think they're fine. Do this. Do this. Do this. Use your mirrors. <laughs> Trying to drive properly. <laughs> what are you doing? It's fun, okay? Shut up. Uh, I'm going to turn it off because I'm also going to go into the camps. I didn't need to bother with that, but I did it anyway. Making some noises, huh? Dan! Hello? Am I kicking that? Yeah. What the? <laughs> Excuse me. If they were that easy to move, I'd have a lot more of them myself at home. Thank you very Ooh, a workbench. I didn't know. Was it the ceiling cat? Hang on. Cracked ceiling kit. Yeah. Ooh. Free stuff. Thank you. Ceiling kit. Cracked. Uh. Hooray! Is that my entire ceiling kit? Well, it was basically free. Everything's looking good. That's nice. My car's looking really good. Not that I'm obsessed with it. I'm not getting obsessed. I'm not getting fixated. You're getting fixated. Shut up. So 
So those poppy up things are Oppie's pneumatic wasp name, right? So like, I feel like I should be able to put things in them and send them back to the shop. Because there was stuff in the shop when I got there. When I looked in the tube. Because the alternative is that I can put things in the shop. And then they'll show up in those in the game. But that seems silly. What is this mess? It's the same old mess. It's just... BP colours for some reason instead of... It's not radiation colours. <laughs> it's the other... The other gross colour that's weird. It's like Darkwood colours. Actual horror game. Necrotic death colours. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Spark Tower, I think. Is someone growing or is it just there? Can't tell. Okie dokie. I might have been hearing some of those and not seeing them all this time. Exploring. Try and get that plasma over there for sure. It feels weird walking around without using the car. <laughs> walking around without using the car, as opposed to walking around whilst using the car. Careful, some of it might be dog food. Do you reckon there's anything in the grain silos? Let's go and have a look. Well, yeah. A flare. Thank you. Ooh. What was that? Oh, batteries. There's a lot of 9 volt batteries. Did we do that stuff? Is there stuff to do? No. Okay. I was led astray. Don't worry about it. Why is there a barbecue over here? Oh, I guess. Why not? It's a nice place. Sunny day. Sunny day. Get away from the house a little bit. Accidentally set the grains on fire. What could go wrong? I'm going to get in the car and drive over there because it's just too far for my Legos to, you know, walk. I can't, I'm, it's too, I'm too old. What now? Ooh. Get in the car. <laughs> I'm actually going to read about that whilst we're here. A sudden and dramatic change in atmospheric pressure has produced powerful but lo extremely localized winds. Be careful, this could be extremely dangerous. I am being blown around. Oh yeah, this shows up on the map, look. So we can see how long it's going to take to pass. It moves fairly rapidly, to be fair. I don't think we've done any of that. Whoa! I can't tell if that was a coincidence that it was when I put it in drive, or if by being in drive, suddenly the car was a lot more easy to move. Seems to have passed though. Crash. I could catch up to it by accident, let's try not to. <laughs> try to avoid that, if possible. Trekkens up there. I kind of want to go and see. Does that look like a thing? Can't tell if that's a thing. There's a car here. The what's name is passed, so that's fine. How about you? Three. Nice.
Ow, zap me. Well, now we know how much it hurts. And it does radiate you a bit as well. It's irradiate you, I should say. So it's not too bad being zapped by that, but it's not too much fun either. When you've got this much food, I probably wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I think I can tank every bit of damage one at a time, anyway, until the cows come home. Okay, let's put the spare wheel in here. How it fits, I don't know. If it fits, it does. Now, let's go and have a look. There's also this. I'm not going to worry too much about the steel I could get from this. There's more than enough of it hither and yon. It looks like a wall, actually. I don't think we're going to be able to get past it. Can we? There's also a road. Maybe we could get up here in the first place. Crash. Oh yeah, it looks like an actual place we could go. Oh look! Oh no, I thought that was a, a like an exit barricade, but it's not. <laughs> what are you trying to get me to do? Oh, I didn't take a photo of this look. Tow truck. Can we take bits off? Yeah. I mean, this is the same amount of why should I bother as the uh, wrecked car, but it's, it's a novel thing to scrap a, uh, a truck, right? Okay, so that's up there. It's the same overlook as we had that was overlooking Cappy. It's just somewhere else. And there's exactly one bollard. Look at that, that's weird. Right. Okay, and uh, have a look at the map. There's a few more things to explore. I think nearby there's a stability anchor. Yeah, it's there. I can't really be bothered. No, we did those, look, because that's the... Oh, there's another gas station. Okay, whatever. Um, so that's that road that we were just on. But there's no way we're driving up there. We might have to do the windy road bit and get up there. And on the way, there's that. So let's pick up that one first. See where it puts the gates. And then make a decision about the order we get the rest of it. Sound good? Actually, let's go like this. I tried to do a handbrake turn while barely moving. Just in case it was going to work. It was worth a try, okay? Apparently there's a train line. Whoa, it's giddy. Crash. What could go wrong? Okie dokie. Over this way. I think we like the plasma, so we'll definitely put the effort in over here. I haven't put the music on because it's just using battery and we don't stay in the car for long enough to appreciate the dang stuff. Maybe I'll just leave it on. Hello? Watching you. Have someone's eye out with that thing. Indeed. Back to our stuff in peace. Thank you. In defiance of normal logic, it's actually further getting back to the car than it was to the go to the place in the first place. That's not how travel works, in my experience. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Also, there's stuff. Law stuff. Interesting. I mean, I say about plasma, and then there's some over there, and I'm not going to get it. But that's because I have too much pride. It's just way too much effort sometimes. Thank you. Very generous with the uh, 
players. I haven't needed one, which is great. I nearly needed one, and then I didn't need one. So now we're here. And I'm not going to worry about, again, the steel. We've got so much steel. Like, I, th I, I could do with more quite often, but also it's just so much of a faff to gather. <laughs> I can't be bothered, okay? If we, there's, there's a lot of it in, in containers. Just scrap metal in bins. Because Americans don't recycle. So what difference does it make, I guess, is my point. This kind of looks like where we came in. The lights don't help. As usual in the fog, lights don't help. Believe it or not, you can't uh, drive through the safety barriers. Which is good, actually. I'm glad they put that much detail into the game, because imagine if you could just knock down the safety barriers like you can all the other, can all the other fences. You know? It'd be laughable. This fog, though. Please. Bruh. Where's the cat's eyes? Not that they help if you... Uh, and get your lights on. Crash. Got a long way to go on these roads. But we're never climbing up that hill without taking the roads, so... Patience. Dear. Uh, X to doubt. Probably uh, recycle these signs a little bit. Plenty of metal in them. So there's a couple over there. Yeah, we want to know where the gates are going to be. And I expect they're going to be in a really annoying position. So <laughs> look out for that. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm still inside it. Let's try that again without being inside it. What are you doing? Making noises at me. Wiggling wreck. You wriggling? Wriggling. Wriggling wreck. Wreck up in the valley, oh. A rare wreck, a wriggling wreck. Can I even bypass it? I don't even know if it will go off a second time. But I'm not going to risk it. Stop. Building over there. I think. Or is that the ramp? Looks like a building. Can't tell. Pop. Get in. <laughs> Just in case. And. Ah, right. Uh, we need another 0.6 Kalim. So we're going to have to pick up at least one more of these to even figure out where the gates are. Does the size of the thing indicate how much Kalim are in the... Possibly, actually. See how they've got different circle sizes on the anchor. Uh, points on the map. I expect that might tell you how hefty they are. Now, it is the ramp, look. So we walked all the way up here just to see, and it turned out it was part of the map. Uh... And nothing special at all. Ooh. That might be a special wreck. A special wreck? Seem colourful. Excuse me? Minute man. Okay. I get the sense that you might be able to give me some uh, charge. What is this now? A honey pot. Oh, I see. 
A bit rude, but okay. Oh, I thought my computer crashed, but my mouse is just in a weird place. Hello? <laughs> what is this now? Spare tire? No, thank you. Where's my bits? I didn't get no bits. Might as well, huh? Since we're here and all. I wonder if it remembers their charge. It's not even lit anymore, you see? Just put stuff away? Got a lot of flares as well. Uh, where are we going? Do you know what? Don't. It's not going anywhere. It's fine. <laughs> Have a can of pop on the way. There's a storm coming. Winter is coming. I like how the colourful car, which is like kind of obviously different, was the honey pot. <laughs> Ooh, a colourful car. I wonder why that one survived so well. Uh, psych. It's surrounded by Minutemen and Bollards. Psych is an American thing. We're probably allowed to say it in real life. Uh oh. Oh, it fitted. Phew. <laughs> no. 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 Maybe. No. Maybe. No. I don't think we accelerate fast enough even when one of those things is uh, helping out, as it were. You play with that while I continue to drive. I've also got a limb emitter on F, which will let go of these things of me if they decide that it's time for a drive, but I don't want to partake it. Off! There we go. Jeez. A lot of, uh, it's a bit of, bit of juice out here. A bit of noise going on. Let me out. There we go. Give me that. Probably should have explored the area first, huh? But okay. Charge me up at least. Charge me up inside. No? Yeah? No, it is doing. Is it hurting? That's the thing. Maybe. It doesn't charge it very fast. Maybe it's not worth the effort. How much limb have we got? 1.6, right. Park up. Have a look. Right, there's one down there. There's one right next to that one. So we'll have to get that second, because if we, if we get that one, we'll be too close. So we get that one first, and then get that one, and then we can drive into that one. Because this is all on a flat. Look, the contours say that one, that one, and this gateway are all on the same wavelength. You're being blown around by the... No, you're not. Right, I'm hardly being blown around. What if I do this? More blown around. Hardly blown around. More blown around. Yeah, I think the parking gear does actually stop us from getting carried away. Literally. We'll just wait it out. It doesn't take long. Look. Weirdly extremely localised, but okay. He did say that. Oh. <laughs> Um, go over here. Oh, I did see a can opener. Look, I think I saw another one over here as well. 
Yeah, look. So that one's going that way. I think we're safe from that one. But I'm going to watch this one. Because I think I want to be on the side of where it goes. No. If I stay here, it seems safe. So... Safe ish. <laughs> Which up path? There. Fish. Well, I forgot to check about the um, the darkness of it. Apologies. Ooh, a spare spinning machine. Oh, you found it. Good. Well, there you go. There's another one. You can have one. Okay. Yeah, so the car's off, so it ignored it, which seems fair. Uh, we should get the food out of the boot. Even in the boot. It's in my hand. <laughs> I've already got the food. Did I shut that? I don't know. Let's have a numb. You're over there. You're doing whatever. Yeah, you find that. Okay. Right, let's um, back up here a little bit. Try and turn around and go forwards, maybe? That seems like a sensible idea. We want to get back on that road. See if we play. Follow it to the right. Maybe I'll meet you over there. It's quite a journey. This one's open. That's new. Is it empty? Well, it was exciting, briefly. Looks like it wiggles no more, by the way. Set it off once and it's done. That's fine. Good to know. And it seems to spawn Minutemen, which I think can charge our battery, so if we wanted to, we could intentionally set off a wigg wriggling wreck and um, potentially charge us up if we need it. Ooh, hello. White stripes. The D20. Nerd out, man. I'm glad we got this extra storage space now. this Yeah, ceiling kit. Thought so. That's handy. Sort of. But it's not heckin' handy, is it? Oh well. Moving on. We're nearly there. It's just up the way. It looks like there's some shiny stuff to get as well. Screech. Where? Wasn't fully... Oh, come on. Whatever. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. How about you? Man versus wild machinery. Eat all the food. 
I haven't eaten for ages, so come on. I deserve it. I see some more plasma, maybe. Why did I drop that? Eat this big one. Unleaded fuel only. Actually. Let's see over there first. Then we'll come around. It's probably where the... Yeah, it's approximately where the gate will be. So that's good. What is... It's a wriggling wreck. I can tell, because it's a wreck. What be wriggling? Let's um, up over here. Oh, there's a second one. There's a second one. Oh, that broke. Well, it didn't look very strong. It was only made of steel. Why is there radiation here? Can you please stop it? Thank you. Right, let's go and get... I was like, hang on. That's a pneumatic thing. Nope, that's the thing I just broke apart. Uh, let's go and get our anchor. Yoink. Thank you. Put it away. Shut the door. Get out of here. I don't... <laughs> don't think what sort of things have spawned beneath my car whilst I did that. So let's just get out of here. Find the next one. Which is just around the corner. There it is. Fish. Watch out for can openers and what have you. There's one right there, look, told you. Seems safe for now, get past it whilst it's going that way. There we go. Handbrake turn, had no effect. Get out. I think it's probably likely to be quite clear if you've parked on the line of a can opener because it does glow. Take this, last anchor. And now the storm will be coming in. This place is no longer stable. Proof is in the eating. What? Um, right, which one can we open? If we go forwards a bit more, we should be able to open that one. So let's try and get out of here. Leave me alone. Zap. That's fine. We need a good zap. How far away do we need to be to open a gate? We just open that one. Yeah. Let's go. Follow the road and leave. Oh, where's the road then? <laughs> I have no idea what the radio just said to me, but... That's fine. I don't need to know. There it is. This should be fair. That's closing in quick, though. There's no need to rush. <laughs> Don't go head over heels just because you're trying to go too quick. We can go downhill easily. Don't need to worry about the road going downhill. Well, maybe not that easily. Well, the red one's the big scary. But that's okay, we're here. Get in! <laughs> that came in a lot quicker than it did last time. Good grief. And crash. I used the handbrake. <laughs> also, I wasn't going at like 88 miles an hour this time. Only 30 or 40. 
owe you an apology. Gee. I screwed up. <laughs> I nearly got you killed. The yes. things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been yeah, myself don't worry in a long it. time. Or they do. I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there. That's loose look at that. Yeah. Why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing. Just <laughs> like that. until that remnant oh, drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance what? to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Uh, it's a pretty good car. I don't need your advice. Thank you very much. I appreciate that the use of this mechanics kit, a single use of an entire mechanics kit, is to whack this thing twice with a spanner. Ooh. Alright, so I think I will spare you the repairing of the car. But as usual, we'll end it here and come back next time to do all the garage work and then we'll do a run. And we'll do all the lore at the start of the next episode, see what we've missed. But until then, I hope you're enjoying this, and I hope that you will join me next time. I'm really enjoying it, so you better be too. And if you're not, then you can just stop watching. I don't... <laughs> you're not obliged to, but thank you anyway. Um, and, yeah, until next time, I will see you. Bye!